Sachs. An alarming report from Goldman Sachs predicts that Phoenix home prices, and we've all been through this before, Phoenix home prices will drop 25% this year, matching levels last seen during the Great Recession. Well, Joe Dana explains what the impact could be for Arizona and why experts say it's not a doomsday scenario. It, they do see a big course correction here, and we've known home prices in the Valley are artificially high. The general advice is get ready, but don't get too worried. Subdivisions abandoned by builders, swampy pools and overgrown yards, foreclosure signs seemingly everywhere. These were scenes from the last housing crash. One senior economist says there's no indication that will happen this time around. This is not a housing crash, and it's nothing like 08, 09. A Goldman Sachs memo reported by the New York Post predicts Phoenix is one of four cities that will see at least a 25% drop in house values this year. Demand has dropped off dramatically. Economic forecaster Danny Court says he believes it will be less dramatic, and the 25% drop already began last May and is likely halfway over. It, from peak to trough, we could see a 25% decline, but we had such, such high price appreciation over the last three to five years that we're only back down to 2021 prices. According to Redfin.com, the median peaked at $464,000. A 25% drop from that price this year would put the median at $348,000. Whatever the severity of the drop will be, court says one big difference between today and 2008, employment is strong. We still have a really hot jobs market. When you have a job, you're ha you have the ability to pay your mortgage. He predicts employment will continue to grow this year. His advice for buyers and sellers? So we've switched from a really hot seller's market to uh, to the advantage being more in the buyer's corner. You're going to start to see more negotiation, longer selling times. Bottom line, even in the face of a potential recession, experts say there's reason to believe the mortgage industry is on solid footing. That was not the case 15 years ago. Also be aware, if you purchased a home in the past two years or so, you will continue to see your mortgage uh, above your home value. That's not a company.